everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Last time we completed uh, the first dungeon, Deepwood Shrine. Uh, well, we, we did a little bit in that last part. We met Ezlo. Well, the last session, I should say. Yeah, ignore me. Anyways, it's time to uh, meet Malari on Mount Krennel. Not Death Mountain, but Mount Krennel. And, yeah, we're, we're not going to do a whole lot of exploration in, in the first two dungeons, I'm going to say, just because a whole lot of the game centers around something called Kinstone Fusion, and we're going to get to that in this part, but we're not going to have a whole lot of Kinstones uh, saved up until after the first two dungeons, so... Yes, I am, Mr. Minish. Many tales, but I just got here. How could you have... Whatever. Bilari! A bit of an inventor. Hmm. Ha-ha! He gives me bombs. Thank you. Bilari. It sounds like Melari. Whatever. Uh, so we... Hey, what is this? The power of wind! That was not wind, that was the power of explosives, so... I, yeah, I don't have the foggiest either, as long as I... Of course I have the foggiest, but... I'm not going to tell you! <laughs> Anyways. Um... Yeah, we, we needed the those bombs to uh, get out of Minish Woods, so... Started. Try and uh, try and get into the habit of when you have bomb walls to take out the bombs all in one shot. Because I mentioned it briefly, and we'll get to it more a little bit later. But the game is very kind about dropping well the things that I mentioned before, the kinstones. And while I don't have a kinstone bag yet, I will in a couple of minutes. So. Let us go, let us meet a Minish. No, I've never seen one like it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Nah, that was entirely pointless. So, uh, it, it really wasn't spoilers when I mentioned the Kinstones. But, it is spoilers to say... I bombed a wall. Bombs seem like they take a little bit longer in this game. And 20 more mysterious shells! I need two rupees, that's all I need. Give me two green rupees and I will be off your case. Or is it... 90, I don't remember. Please, no, we have P-Hats chasing after me. I have enough rupees, I think. It's always good to mow the grass, but again, we'll discuss that shortly. And this game seems to have like a memory of when you bomb a wall, it kind of, well, obviously walls stay bombed, but uh, it, it's, it's more like than just that, because if you have a method to open a way, such as bombing some blocks or anything of that nature, the game remembers it, and it's not just walls, like I said, it's blocks, sometimes it's weeds, uh, and we have another one of those symbols. Hmm. 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 We'll, we'll get to that a little bit shortly. Uh, very conspicuous. South Hyrule Field doesn't have a whole lot to offer right now, but, you know, the explorer in me always wants to check. So, into Hyrule Castle Town I go! Just Hyrule Town. Who the hell are you? Why are the children following you? Are you the Pied Piper? Oh, you're just giving away kinstone bags. Still, I can't get over how creepy that is. Yes, I'm here for my free kinstone bag. 
free for all kids! Okay, where's the chloroform? <laughs> so. We have a little tutorial. Oh, how very kind of you. Yes, I did. So the L button goes into the Kinstone Fusion. You're going to be doing this a lot in this game. And of course, there's a match. Uh, all of the regular Kinstones have little four-leaf clovers on them, and uh, there are special golden Kinstones that uh, they have something different depending on the place that you're at. So, when you fuse Kinstones, good things happen. Ways open up, and as you could see from the heart that the guy showed off when, uh, just a second here, gotta do some healthkeeping. But as you could see from the heart that the guy showed off, the quote-unquote miracle that he's, damn it, performing for us is going to give us a piece of heart. Blow up another stone! We just keep having explosions follow us wherever we go. Right. So tell me it's tell me it's 80. Tell me it's 80. Tell me it's 80. Tell me it's 80. Me it's, 80. it's 80! Yes! Give me that big wallet! So now I can hold I think 200. So yes, this is, uh, this is the shop, this is Stockwell, he's, he's a dude, I, what, what is he twiddling his fingers with? Is he, like, counting his money? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Anyways. There are a lot of things that we can do around here, I mean, we could do a cuckoo catching mini game for Anju here. It's got an addictive little theme song to it. Catch two cuckoos. Two cuckoos accomplished. But we can also catch a golden cuckoo, which I'm going to suck at. Golden cuckoos uh, tend to struggle, so if you're going to catch one, it's always good to uh, go about it by uh, basically walking a couple of steps, throwing it, and then catching it again before it runs off too far. So we get a reward! Ten mysterious shells. And 80 rupees? Hell yeah! Helping people is good, folks. Only if you get paid for it. So... If memory serves, why can't they let me into Hyrule... Hyrule Castle's area? Is there somebody there? It, oh, hello, postman. What the hell are you doing there? Odd. Oh, please go away, guard. Ah, sword techniques! Okay. So, now, in order to progress, we must learn a sword technique. And the way that we do that is at the dojo! And go the wrong way, why don't you? So, in the dojo... The guy sounds like Nico! Oh my god! Avast, ye swabby. Yes, I will train here. Teach me those sword techniques. Build up enough power. Release your destructive might! Yes. But it's not enough to be told. One must feel. He will now... Possess my body to demonstrate the technique. Possession. It, it's a spin attack. We, we know what the fuck it is. So, and there we go. And in case you ever forget how to use a spin attack in Zelda, I have no idea why the fuck you would. Uh. He gives you a tiger scroll. Collect them all and something good might happen. Anyways, um, now that we did the Kinstone Fusion, 
uh, you can see South Hyrule Field. It actually shows up on our map, not just during the fusion, but afterwards as well. Basically, until you investigate it, that mark is always going to be on your map, and that's a good thing. I mean, in case, because you're going to be doing a lot of fucking kinstone fusions in this game. Even if you don't do 100%, this is, like, something hardcore. I got more bombs! Now, it's right here. And naturally, since you saw the heart next to the guy when we did the kinstone fusion. Alrighty, so 86 rupees. I've already bought the big wallet, so... Hmm. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, money making with Anju, so... Give me more rupees! Three of them. Can't go into buildings or leave town. Why would I? No. C catch the. Grip the damn thing! Alright, this is gonna be bad. Well, maybe not. Emergency cuckoo to the rescue. More rupees, please! Gus Jar Cuckoo. 30 rupee- What?! That was a harder task than last time. Oh, well, whatever. Four of them. Maybe I'll get a piece of heart out of this fight. No, none of this shit again. Grip the damn cuckoo. can't be more than five of these things. There we go. There's four. So far, so good. Get the fuck out of my way, Postman. Time's up! Give me more rupees than 30 this time! And enough of those damn shells! Okay, you gave me more than 30, you fucking smart-ass woman. Get your own cuckoos! You're allergic to them anyway. 45 seconds. It's good when they spawn the golden cuckoo right there, except when it does that. Okay. This may be possible to do it on first try. D grip the fucking cuckoo! Oh, there was lost time. Right, so three, this will be four. Where's the last one? I think I saw it. Oh, oh shit, there it is. Way too far out of the way. Surely this is not going to be enough time. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Oh my god, I did it! Yes! I gave you the golden cuckoo! And it seems that giving you the golden cuckoo is the, uh, the profitable route. Okay. Okay, how many is it this time? Five of them within 50 seconds. Okay. So, yeah, this seems like a pretty efficient method of uh, grinding out rupees that you need. Five isn't so bad. Although they seem a little bit more spread out than last time. I apologize if this is starting to bore you guys, me running around and grabbing cuckoos and abducting them and turning them into Kentucky Fried Cuckoo and all that shit. I apologize if this is offensive to you animal rights activists out there. I, I love chicken. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. No! Ah, I'm fucked. That was a very bad spot, the uh, spawn section. Oh well. Oops. Never mind, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna bother with this. Uh, basically, keep going until you fail. But I'm so close! Isn't it 300 that I need? Check Stockwell real quick. Because I want... There it is! The boomerang! How much is it? How much is it? 300! That's not a bargain! You fucker! Oh, well. Um... I don't want to get too, too ahead of myself on the adventure, though, because I'm so far ahead in the rupee count. It 
probably wasn't a good idea to do this right now. Um, what? It, fuck it. I'm gonna do it one more time. One more time. One more time. I got it. I got this shit. I need good eggs to show up. I need a good golden cuckoo to spawn. That is not a good golden cuckoo spawn. And I need Link to actually grip the damn thing. Uh, maybe they're predetermined spawns because this seems very similar to last time. Okay, this is three. I'm only gonna do this. This is gonna be my last try. I'm not gonna sit here and dick around with cuckoos all day. Oh, there's another one! Ooh, ooh, ooh! I don't need to get the golden one! Um, this will probably be like 50 rupees, and then I can just find four more, and you stupid fucking cuckoo! Thanks for going far away! This is gonna be close. Oh shit, oh shit. I got enough time. Oh boy, that was close. So, give me 50 rupees, and I'll be out of your hair. And then I just have to scavenge for four more. 50 rupees, thank you. So, somewhere around town should be four more rupees. Surely. I can't possibly be out of my mind. So I guess the max was uh, 300, not 200. I'm an idiot. As you know. But... Uh, yes, are, are you gonna let me through? Yeah, you're still working, okay. Uh, damn it, I'm... Monsters out there, I don't... Do you think I give a damn about monsters? You just... Where do these people live? There's far more people here than there are houses. I, I'm gonna go, literally, go find four rupees and then come right back, so... Right, you want the spin attack? I'll show you a spin attack. hey -ya! Huh. Okie dokie. Oh no. Oh god, please do not fuck me. These... I'm not sure what they're called, but they look a lot- There it is! 300! Buh bye Oh, wait a minute. Um... Yeah, those guys are thieves. They bump into you, they'll damage you, and they'll also- I- I pressed A. Right in your face. Thank you. Give me that boomerang! Yes! I am a big spender, thank you very much. What do you got now? Oh shit, a bigger bomb bag. That's like 600, isn't it? Oh yeah, ha! <laughs> That's not even gonna be enough for our next, uh, wallet enhancement. We need two more to be able to afford that shit. But this was a really rather productive, uh, run here in Hyrule Town. I, I don't usually get this well equipped, uh, this early. And I've already got the big wallet, so I'm not gonna be getting too much going on. I mean, is there another? No. Can I learn another sword technique? I, I know I'm going in circles, and I apologize, but this is this is just getting my bearings before my adventure continues. That's fine. You say it's fine, man, but yeah. Back to the dojo. I should have done this before. No more with my current sword. With a new sword in hand. I, I thought as much, but... Hmm. So it seems that our adventure, our quest to have Malari reforge the Pickery Sword, will end in success. This is a good thing. So, yeah. What's down here? Very curious. Oh, no! Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I fucked up. I really fucked up. Because I don't have any rupees right now. Oh shit, this is bad news. Oh no! Oh, there's five rupees. That's not gonna be enough. This is like a 20 rupee. That business scrub is gonna sell me something that I'm gonna need, but I can't get it right now. That's... not good. Usually, I mean, sometimes you can get lucky with uh, finding stuff under boulders. Although, it seems more often that you're going to get mysterious shells out of it than you will rupees. Yeah, it's whatever.
Yeah, I got a lot of mysterious shells out of that and not a lot of rupees. By the way, these are not bombable walls. They may look like it, but... Bombable walls, of course, give the... Concept? Yeah, very different sounding tone. And... Oh, 20 rupees. That is perfect. I know exactly why that's placed there. That is so convenient. Oh, thank you, game. You're ingenious. So, we have a business scrub here who's not going to actually sell us anything, but... Hmm. It won't get you to the top, but it'll give you a start. Uh, what will get you to the top is that 20 rupees that you just got. Or that I just got. And, uh... We must buy from the business scrub, and the business scrub is of course back down here. Hello again, business scrub. I completely forgot that the game is actually smart enough to do that. Like, if you spent all your rupees, you're fucked. Rupees aren't that easy to come by in this game unless you... BOTTLES! Yes! Give me one! Do you have more bottles? You, ain't, you said you sell bottles. You only gave me one bottle. Give me more. I need more merchandise, Mr. Scrub. Fuck. Oh, well. Uh, alas, my search continues. Link, the bottle collector. And this game, uh, unlike, um, unlike A Link to the Past, has a lot more use of, of bottle puzzles, as using the bottle here gives you water. And when you spray water on a seed, the seed grows! It's not always like that, but it's a start. Hmm. Oh no, Tektites. These things are a pain in the ass because they don't die in one shot in the sword. Right. Bombs. And these spider webs hurt, so feel free to gust jar the hell out of them. It's peculiar there in between the two. Always be on the lookout because in typical Zelda fashion they'll have like doorways outlined by surroundings that you actually have to bomb through. And if I'm not mistaken, what did you drop? What did you drop? Just Right here. Beware crumbling ball, uh, walls. Blasting strictly prohibited. Well, hmm, it's one gap and it's bombable. Go figure. Ha ha! Anyways. Red shoes! Oh no! The journey up Mount Crenel will be a treacherous one. It will be indeed, but. First things first. Kerboom! That's right! Go, Ezlo! Go! Take me into a rock as well! Not just tree stumps, you know? Bouncing off of like some kind of emeralds. Can I have some? Or they just rupees underneath there. Hmm. It's like change that you fish out of your couch. Anybody have couches that really kind of eat change like that? Most couches nowadays that I see don't tend to do that. I don't know why, but... So here we are. A tiny little puddle and a very big puddle. This is special water. We're going to need it. Mount Crenel mineral water. It's piping hot. I don't know if it ever cools off. Um, I don't think it's... Timed. If it is, it's awfully lenient because I've never failed before, but you need that kind of water. Specifically, that kind of water. It will do you no good to get more bottled water. Must be Mount Crenel. And uh, I think this is a good stopping point. We're at the base of Mount Crenel, and we must ascend. We must ascend. So I will see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. We will climb Mount Crenel, and we will tear down the walls of Ice Crown! Wrong game, sorry. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everybody.